WGN's Jenna Barnes is here now with more on that tonight, Jenna. Yeah, guys, it is staggering. Thieves can steal one of these devices in just a few minutes, meaning they can turn around and make a quick buck. But for the victims of this crime, there is nothing quick about finding a replacement. It's leaving some drivers stranded for months. Michael Albert spent the height of the pandemic alongside the governor, interpreting his words for Illinois' nearly 400,000 deaf people. Very underserved and very ignored. Demand for his skill hasn't slowed down, but Michael has, because his 2015 Toyota Prius is stuck in the shop indefinitely, waiting on a catalytic converter replacement. This one attempt to steal my catalytic converter has really thrown my life in a lot of disarray because as a sign language interpreter, I have to go all over the city and these emergencies pop up in hospitals and police stations and emergency press conferences. And I used to be able to hop in the car and get there. Now it could be a good, you know, half hour, hour, hour and a half before I could even get someplace. He's been without his car for more than a month after he realized something was amiss back in July. In fact, when I first got into my car and I heard all this noise, I thought, well, somebody around me hasn't kept their car fixed. And then I'm driving along and then suddenly I turned onto a street and I was all alone. I'm like, that noise is still there. Oh my God, it's me. A car or SUV that sounds like a motorcycle is a dead giveaway. A thief snatched its catalytic oh, converter, God. a device that converts harmful pollutants into safer emissions. You're looking at a Toyota Sienna that was had the catalytic converter stolen at night. You could see how they use a sawzall and they just kind of go underneath there, they shimmy underneath and slice it at both ends. They're probably in and out in less than five minutes. Eddie Zipperstein's owned Richard's Body Shop on the northwest side for 25 years, and he's witnessing the rise in catalytic converter thefts. People are stealing way more. We're seeing six a week. And it's a pricey fix. This claim is $4,900. So this is costing insurance companies the consumer a lot of money. In Illinois, in the first half of 2022, State Farm paid $3.5 million for 1,900 catalytic converter theft claims. That's more than in all of 2021 and more than double the payout for 2020 claims. The National Insurance Crime Bureau says thefts are taking off because the value of the precious metals inside catalytic converters has skyrocketed. Platinum is worth nearly $900 an ounce. Palladium nearly $2,000 an ounce, and rhodium more than $12,000 an ounce. The Crime Bureau says thieves can get about 250 bucks from recycling facilities for each catalytic converter. But for victims whose insurance will cover the replacement, the bigger headache is the time spent waiting for it. I've heard nothing but question marks. I know that they've said that they've got about 40, 35, 40 cars in their shop waiting for catalytic converters. Michael Albert says his dealership anticipates he'll be without his Prius for up to nine months. This one has a back order about three months as well. Zipperstein says ongoing supply chain issues are impacting some car brands, but others just aren't prepared for the escalation in thefts. They're not used to producing that many. It's an oddball item. This thing in a normal car will last you from the time you buy the car to almost 10 or 15 years. Michael is now considering buying an electric vehicle because they don't need catalytic converters. And in the meantime, he's juggling public transportation, ride shares, and rental cars to reach the community he serves. It's, it's been very difficult trying to figure out what to do. I'm just sort of at a loss right now. Hybrids like his Prius are one of the big targets because they have two catalytic converters. Now there are locks and cages you can have installed to make the devices harder to steal. And Chicago police are also starting a pilot program. They will be painting neighbors catalytic converters pink, marking them with the words Chicago police to deter thieves. That is an event happening September 11th in Logan Square, open to neighbors in the 14th police, police district, guys. But there's really no answer to this. No, eventually, maybe when everyone's driving electric, electric vehicles, cars, right. there won't mm -hmm. be anything to steel, at least not catalytic converters. Yeah.